Are you over 40 and feeling off balance? Welcome to a journey of discovery where we aim to unmask the mystery behind those feelings of fatigue and dizziness that you may be experiencing. Today, we're going to take a close look at an often misunderstood yet crucially important phase in a woman's life, menopause. Menopause, a natural part of aging, marks the end of a woman's reproductive years. But this transition isn't just about saying farewell to menstruation. It comes with a host of changes and symptoms that can range from mild to severe. And two of these symptoms, ones that often get overlooked, are fatigue and dizziness. You see, you're not alone if you've been feeling unusually tired or off balance. These could be signs that your body is navigating through the waves of menopause. But the good news is, understanding these symptoms can be the first step towards managing them effectively. Our purpose with this video is to provide a detailed, yet easy to understand guide to menopause and its link to fatigue and dizziness. We want to empower you with knowledge, allowing you to make sense of what's happening to your body, and most importantly, to reassure you that you're not alone. We'll explore what happens to your body during menopause, why these changes can lead to feelings of fatigue and dizziness, and how you can manage these symptoms to continue living a vibrant and healthy life. We're here to support you every step of the way. So, whether you're in the throes of menopause, suspect you might be, or are just keen to learn more about this significant life transition, you're in the right place. This is your space to learn, to understand, and to take control. Knowledge is power, and understanding our bodies is one of the greatest powers we possess. So why not harness that power today? Stay tuned as we delve into the facts and figures about menopause and its symptoms. Menopause, a natural biological process, has its own set of challenges. It's a time of transition, a moment of metamorphosis that every woman experiences. But let's not just talk in abstracts. Let's dive into some facts and figures to truly grasp the magnitude of this phenomenon. Menopause typically kicks off around the age of 51, but it's not uncommon for it to start as early as the 40s or as late as the late 50s. This period, often referred to as the change of life, is not a one-size-fits-all experience. It varies greatly from woman to woman, and the symptoms can range from mild to severe. In fact, did you know that up to 80% of women experience symptoms during menopause? Yes, you heard it right, 80%. And amongst these, fatigue and dizziness are quite common. This is largely due to the hormonal changes that occur during this phase. Your body is saying farewell to its fertile years, and it does so by decreasing the production of hormones like estrogen and progesterone. This hormonal roller coaster can lead to a plethora of symptoms, including the aforementioned fatigue and dizziness. It's also important to note that menopause is not a sudden event, but a gradual process that can span a few years. During this time, the fluctuating hormone levels can have a significant impact on your energy levels and balance. But here's the silver lining. While it may seem daunting, understanding these changes can empower you. When you know what's happening in your body, you can take steps to manage the symptoms and maintain your quality of life. Remember, menopause is not a disease or a condition that needs to be fixed. It's a natural part of life's journey, a transition every woman goes through. And just like any other phase of life, it comes with its own set of challenges and triumphs. Knowledge is power, and understanding these facts can help you navigate menopause with grace and confidence. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you continue watching. We promise to continue providing insightful and informative content about women's health and wellness. Knowledge is power. Embrace the journey of life with awareness and confidence. Feeling drained of energy? You're not alone. Often when we hit a certain age, we might notice a dip in our energy levels. This is particularly common among women going through menopause. But why exactly does this happen? Let's delve into the connection between menopause and fatigue. Menopause, as many of you know, is a natural part of aging. It marks the end of a woman's reproductive years, when her ovaries stop producing eggs and her menstrual cycles cease. But it's not just about period stopping. Menopause brings with it a host of changes, both physical and emotional. One of these changes is a shift in hormone levels, specifically estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen and progesterone are key players in regulating our energy levels. When these hormones fluctuate during menopause, they can cause a feeling of constant tiredness or fatigue. Think of it like a car running low on fuel. You can still drive, but you might not get very far. Another common reason behind menopause-induced fatigue is sleep disturbances. As many as three out of four menopausal women report sleep issues. Hot flashes and night sweats can interrupt sleep, leading to fatigue the next day. Moreover, insomnia and sleep apnea, 
both of which are common during menopause, can rob you of much needed rest, resulting in you feeling worn out or tired during the day. So, the link between menopause and fatigue is clear, it's a complex interplay of hormonal changes and sleep disruptions, but it's important to remember that every woman's experience with menopause is unique. Some might sail through it with minimal discomfort, while others might find the symptoms more challenging. Fatigue might be common, but it's not a life sentence. There are ways to manage it. Next, we'll delve into the various strategies for managing menopause-related fatigue and how to regain control over your energy levels. Stay tuned. Ever felt like the room is spinning around you? It's a sensation many of us have experienced, but did you know that this dizzy, off-balance feeling can be a common symptom of menopause? Yes, it's true. Let's delve a little deeper. Menopause is a natural part of aging, where the body undergoes a significant hormonal shift. This shift, particularly the decrease in estrogen levels, can affect various systems in our bodies, including our balance. It can cause an array of symptoms, including dizziness, vertigo, and a general feeling of being off balance. Now, why does this happen? Well, estrogen plays a vital role in the body's fluid regulation and vascular system, both of which are crucial for maintaining balance. As estrogen levels drop during menopause, it can disrupt these systems, leading to feelings of dizziness or a sense of imbalance. Moreover, this hormonal shift can also affect the inner ear, which plays a key role in maintaining our balance. Changes in hormonal levels can disrupt the functionality of the inner ear, leading to vertigo or a dizzy sensation. How does this impact daily life? Imagine feeling like you're on a boat, swaying back and forth, even when you're standing on solid ground. This sensation can make routine activities, like walking, driving, or even standing, more difficult. It can lead to falls, fear of falling, and a decrease in physical activity, which can further exacerbate the problem. But it's not just physical. Dizziness and balance issues can also impact your emotional well-being. It can be frustrating, cause anxiety, and lead to a feeling of loss of control. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding the link between menopause and these symptoms can actually be a source of relief. It can help you realize that what you're experiencing is a normal part of this life stage, and not something more serious. Feeling off balance can be unsettling, but understanding why it happens can bring peace of mind. So the next time you feel the room spinning, remember, it's your body navigating through this natural transition. And you, my dear, are not alone. Not. The road to menopause might be rocky, but there are ways to smooth the journey. As we traverse this winding path called life, we stumble upon various stages, each with its own unique challenges. Menopause is one such stage, often marked by symptoms that can feel overwhelming. But fear not, for there are coping strategies that can help you manage these symptoms and continue to lead a fulfilling life. First, let's talk about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. This isn't just about staying physically fit, it encompasses a holistic approach that includes your diet, exercise, sleep, and mental well-being. Eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can help manage weight gain and provide essential nutrients. Regular physical activity can boost your mood, improve sleep, and reduce hot flashes. Prioritizing sleep is critical too, as it helps combat fatigue and keeps your body functioning optimally. On the mental well-being front, it's about being kind to yourself and accepting that it's okay to have off days. It's about understanding that your feelings are valid and it's perfectly normal to seek help when you need it. Next, we delve into the realm of mindfulness. You might be wondering, what's mindfulness got to do with menopause? Well, quite a lot actually. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment and acknowledging your feelings without judgment. It involves techniques like deep breathing, meditation, and yoga, which can help manage stress, improve sleep, and reduce menopause symptoms. It's about embracing the change rather than resisting it. Now let's move on to Hormone Replacement Therapy, or HRT. This is a treatment that involves taking medications containing female hormones to replace the ones your body no longer makes after menopause. HRT can help relieve hot flashes, night sweats, and other menopause symptoms. However, it's not for everyone and should be considered carefully with your healthcare provider, given its potential risks and benefits. Lastly, remember to keep up with regular checkups. Menopause can increase the risk of certain health issues like osteoporosis and heart disease. Regular screenings can catch these conditions early and help you manage them effectively. In closing, while menopause might seem like a daunting mountain to climb, remember that you are not alone on this journey. Reach out to friends, family, or support groups who understand what you're going through. 
educate yourself about menopause and its symptoms, and most importantly, listen to your body and take care of yourself. Remember, menopause is a natural phase of life, not a disease. You can handle it. You're not alone in this journey. Help is available. Indeed, while the menopausal transition is a natural phase of life, it can be particularly challenging when symptoms like fatigue and dizziness become overwhelming. When these symptoms start to disrupt your daily life, it's essential to seek professional medical advice. The first step in seeking help is acknowledging the situation. We often tend to brush off such symptoms, attributing them to the stresses of daily life or aging. But remember, it's okay to admit when you're struggling. It's okay to say, I need help. Once you've acknowledged that you need assistance, reach out to your healthcare provider. They can provide a thorough assessment of your symptoms, run necessary tests, and guide you towards an appropriate treatment plan. They may suggest lifestyle changes, prescribe medications, or recommend therapies that can help manage your symptoms. It's also important to remember that it's not just about physical health. Menopause can take an emotional toll too. Mental health professionals, such as psychologists and counselors, can provide valuable support during this time. They can help you navigate the emotional changes and challenges that come with menopause. And let's not forget the power of community. Connecting with others who are going through the same experience can be incredibly comforting and empowering. There are numerous support groups, both in person and online, where you can share your experiences, learn from others, and gain a sense of camaraderie. But remember, while shared experiences can be enlightening, they should never replace professional medical advice. Each person's journey with menopause is unique, and what works for one may not necessarily work for all. So don't hesitate to seek help when you need it. Your well-being is important. You deserve to feel good, to feel balanced, and seeking help is a critical step towards achieving that balance. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Your well-being matters. We've covered quite a bit of ground today. We began by unmasking the mystery of menopause, a natural yet often misunderstood phase in a woman's life. We explored how it's not just about the cessation of menstrual cycles, but also about hormonal changes that can impact various aspects of a woman's health and well-being. We delved into the facts and figures, highlighting that menopause typically begins around the age of 50, but can start earlier or later. We also emphasized that every woman's experience with menopause is unique. Some may breeze through it, while others may find it more challenging. Our discussion on menopause and fatigue explored how hormonal fluctuations can lead to feelings of exhaustion. We underscored how it's not just physical tiredness, but also emotional and mental fatigue that can make everyday tasks seem overwhelming. Next, we addressed dizziness and balance issues, another common symptom of menopause. We explained how drops in estrogen levels can affect the inner ear, leading to bouts of vertigo or a general feeling of unsteadiness. But we didn't stop at just describing the problems. We also offered coping strategies, from lifestyle changes like healthy eating and regular exercise to alternative therapies like acupuncture and yoga. We stressed the importance of rest, relaxation, and self-care in managing menopausal symptoms. Finally, we talked about seeking help. We affirmed that it's okay to reach out to healthcare professionals, therapists, or support groups. We emphasized that there's no need to suffer in silence or go through this journey alone. In closing, remember that menopause is a natural part of life, not a disease or a disorder. It's a phase of transition, a time of change, and yes, sometimes a challenge. But with knowledge and understanding, you can navigate this phase with confidence and grace. And always remember, it's okay to ask for help when you need it. You're not alone on this journey. Thank you for watching.